Hi, I'm uh, Mike Austin Green and I'm here alone by myself. going to give you some green tips. Um, these will help you in the house, in the home, and with your uh, love life. Um, oh, goodness. Ladies and gentlemen, it's my brother Brian Austin Green. Hi, I'm Brian Austin Green. And uh, so are you ready to get out those green tips, Bri Mike? Let's Mike? gang green, man. Let's gang green. Let's gang green. Did you know that 95% of waste comes from plastic bags? That's why every time you go grocery shopping, you should buy reusable bags. Um, it, it's better for the environment than plastic. Just buy them once every time that you go grocery shopping. The last time I went, I got this green bag to carry all of my bags that I usually forget. But it's okay because I, I still buy new plastic bags. Every time I go grocery shopping. <laughs> uh. So your uh, refrigerator's eating up a ton of energy, cooling your food, and uh, we recommend that uh, you might want to unplug it maybe three hours out of the day. Not only that, unplugging your fridge for three hours out of the day turns delicious apples into beautiful compost. Check out the dents on that baby. The key to a good compost, um, a good composting, is having natural ingredients and then something to cut it with. Brian and I, uh, we recommend composting outside, um, away from the elements. And you want to compost um, frequently. We, we have no future unless we can grow plants, and so to, for a more verdant future, uh, we need to compost. Now, as you see, there are no plants there, but just give it a few, like, 50 years. When, and when the, uh, the, the tires come by from the cars that drive there, they smush it and accelerate the composting action. Yeah, and, um, yeah, we, we, this thing's looking real good. Now, the key to saving water while you're um, while you have a toilet is keeping the water levels in the the reserve low. Um, the way you do that is you kind of break 
the handle off over here. And then um, you just let it develop a small leak. And it just keeps the water constantly flowing through there. And then whenever you want to flush it, you pull up a hemp rope. Um, hemp is an organic matter, and that helps the environment too. Um, and you have to kind of just jiggle it around and wait for it to fill up. And then it'll fill up with water. You can flush and then let it just keep leaking some water some more. So fellas, I know a lot of you guys are sitting around, you know, having a couple beers, talking, you know, how can I get greener in the bedroom? I'd like to surprise you and tell you today that uh, through a lot of research, I've developed a way that you could create a green condom. This like the color green? Um, not so, Brian. This, this condom is reusable, it's earth friendly. And uh, with a couple simple steps, you can make one on your own. And you can use it for sex? Of course. Oh man, how do you do that? So what you're gonna do is um, you're gonna, any way you want, find, get your hands on some of these latex gloves. Um, I've got these, you know, from a cabinet in my house. Um, it's already got that texturized feel. Um, oh ribs for her pleasure. It, you're right, Brian. So, take your glove and um, it's ready to go. You just pick a finger, um, depending on your size. I'd use a thumb. Thumb is good. And you're just gonna, you know, take a regular pair of scissors and cut it open. And um, what you're gonna wanna do is take that finger and um, you're gonna put a little bit of glue stick on it. Add it. Um, on the inside or the outside? That would be both. Um, so it's like a lubricant spermicide. Once the heat hits it, yes. It's the perfect way to go. And what I recommend uh, doing, this is a little trade secret, um, is I've got these B12 tablets. You're gonna take one of these and you're gonna drop that in um, to the bottom and that'll be in your reservoir. And once that B12 tablet uh, dissolves, you're in for a world of pleasure. So once you've got that B12 in there, deep in there, uh, what you're going to want to do, I recommend, uh, this is a nice little treat, um, I got this at my house, it's a, um, just a regular old aloe vera. So you're going to take that aloe vera and you're just going to cram it in that, that finger, that area where... Uh, I can think of something else I'm going to be cramming. <laughs> you know it. Um, and you know what that aloe vera juice is going to do? It's going to provide wonders for the skin and health of your member. And it's also going to um, provide a lubrication and a, a healing properties to any kind of rash or uh, quote unquote other things you might have. And this is reusable? Reusable. What you're going to want to do when you're done uh, is you just roll over, toss it off, and you're going to probably want to get some some other gloves. Clean that out and um, any regular uh, clothesline, just pin that sucker up, uh, air dry is the best, and you're good to go. What do you think about that, Brian? I can't wait to try it for myself. Great.
So, it was fun being green today. Oh, it was great. If, being green. Yeah, if we wanna, you know, if we wanna keep this world alive, we need to gang green together. And um, I think those tips were really helpful. So, you guys wanna remember, buy reusable bags every time you go shopping. Use a low flush, leaky toilet. Use reusable condoms after you're done using your gloves for washing your dishes and your dirty things. It's true, Brad. Um, those B12 vitamins are pretty good too. B12? Uh, can never go wrong with B12. You want to use energy efficient light bulbs, and the more the more you can change it, the better. It's, it runs better uh, when you first change it. So please remember to do that. When you take those out, just toss them out with those apples. Let's get some compost going. It's time to compost it up. Get those plants growing uh, for the future and for you and for your children. For the future. Let's gain green. Let's gain green for the future. <laughs>